The work that I'm exhibiting in Patination is called Indria, which is the, uh, the name of the pattern of the wallpaper that, is, uh, that I've used. My approach to pattern making in this work proceeds from an acknowledgement of something that's fundamental to all pattern, that it involves a measure of predictable um, repetitiveness. Pattern occurs only as a consequence of the repetition of something at a predictable uh, sequence and for this work I've used the, the continuity of the pattern of the Indria wallpaper and uh, across the surface. However, the, the background colour of the wallpaper varies from roll to roll and this allows for the construction of secondary and tertiary narratives in an image that otherwise would be a relatively simple one. The idea behind this work, uh, in one sense, is linked to, to the site. So it contains uh, four copies of classical sculptures. Castor and Pollux are two very good friends. Uh, and then a statue of Neptune or Poseidon. And of the, of the third statue is of a wounded Amazon. For this work, I've cut these classical s statues at, at quite a large size and by removing them it leaves a, a void in which the background wall is visible. So the sections where the, the, the statues have been painted white and the positive has been dislocated to the outside. So because wallpaper is so in, intrinsically uh, wrapped up with ideas of the interior um, and the, the garden is in one sense a form of exterior placemaking. I thought it would be interesting to, to, to put these fragments of an interior scape into a landscape. So the two of the statues at a reduced size are, are located in the garden. There is much to be said for works of art that do not require explanation, that are capable of existing outside the framework of textual intervention. So I would, in the first instance, hope that the people who would see my work would think, I could do that. So for me, the one of the really important parts of my practice is the degree to which it awakens in the viewer the possibilities for their own creative development. So I like, I'm thrilled at the idea that someone might do this at home themselves.